Yeah, Lindsay, yeah, they are making it a priority. And 10 News reporter Arisha Jones is live tonight. She's in downtown Roanoke after speaking with many of them today. Arisha. The municipal building here in Roanoke is where many people go to handle all types of personal and business matters. And with so many people going in and out of this building, right now there's nothing to prevent them from bringing a gun inside if they wanted to. Roanoke City Council doesn't know what it's going to take to restrict or limit guns and other weapons in city government spaces. The time of reacting to these incidents that are happening uh, needs to come to an end. The shooting at the Virginia Beach Municipal Center Friday is unfortunately becoming all too familiar. It's painful that we live in that kind of reality. Virginia law prohibits localities like Roanoke from passing laws preventing guns in municipal buildings. A bill to change the law was proposed this year, and Mayor Sherman Lee went to Richmond to advocate for it after this incident in December. My statement was, I can and I will have you shot. Mayor Lee feels that lawmakers in Richmond refuse to deal with gun issues. We showed that. That's on tape. We looked at that. And that can happen anytime, but nothing happens. Council member Trish White Boyd says making sure doors are locked during city council meetings and having security inside is now standard procedure. There's not a whole lot we can do except uh, preventive measures. But thinking about the 12 lives lost in Virginia Beach Friday, she wonders if it's enough. I'm afraid to say that that will not be the last time until something changes with our state laws. Enough is enough. The bill proposed last year failed to make it out of a committee. On 10 News at 6, hear from several area lawmakers on what they think about guns in the municipal building. Live in downtown Roanoke, Arisha Jones, 10 News, working for you.